Hello everyone, it is Pal Pondron Weather coming at you with another update. In this video, we're going to talk about the record cold that's coming for Halloween, as well as a lot of snow coming again for parts of Texas, uh, the Rockies, and the central part of the United States. Uh, so before we do get started, if you do like weather-related content, please consider subscribing to my channel and let me know some of the videos that you'd like to see upcoming in November. So let's get started. So here's uh, the overall map on Pivotal Weather. I use a lot of resources to gather all my weather, and this is just one of them. It's actually a free site you can go to as well. It's PivotalWeather.com. And it shows right now, currently, it's snowing in Denver again. It's the second snowfall of the season. And right now, they've got winter weather advisors as well as winter storm warnings for parts of Wyoming, uh, Nebraska, as well as Colorado. So not only is it snowing in the mountains, it's also snowing in, in Denver and it's going to continue to snow and they actually believe it or not they're going to be below freezing for about five days straight coming up in denver it's incredible so it's you can see the latest uh, gfs anomaly showing that trough like we showed last week we had that first initial cold blast and this is the second one and there's gonna be actually another one below, behind this so this pattern has no let up in sight to it for the central u.s and here's, uh, again, some of the anomalies for the G GFS model showing that extreme cold air digging deep in the central Rockies that will eventually spread to the south and eventually over time to the southeast and eventually over to the, to the northeast as we go into the first week in November. And you can see the anom anomalies in the latest uh, European model. And this is actually Monday, so it's tomorrow, showing that low pressure digging deep even further and having anomalies you know 30 to 35 degrees below average again like we saw last week when denver hit nine degrees you could go even lower with this round but you know 22 degrees below normal and then again that cold air is eventually going to filter in and in, into uh texas and go into this you know to the south end southeast Here's Halloween, and it, 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 you know, guys, it even gets colder. So this is, we're talking a lot of places, the coldest Halloween we've seen possibly in, since 1993 in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And some areas, like I'm expecting in Denver, you have not seen below zero in October since 1917 when you hit two degrees below zero. And I think it's a good bet you, you get it. You actually drop below that this year because you have a lot of snowpack and with the snowpack on the ground, you can add another 10 degrees, uh, you know, lower on the mercury once that snowpack and that radiational cooling kicks in. But again, you know, all the way down into Texas, you ain't getting left out. Um, and I'll show you some temperatures here in a little bit, but you know, 20 to 25 degrees below normal for a good chunk of the country in Texas, Louisiana, Louisiana, you know, Arkansas, parts of uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and Chicago, and Ohio, uh, uh, Iowa, Nebraska, Wyoming, you know, Utah, even parts of uh, New Mexico. So a, a good chunk of the country is still well below normal. And eventually, like, you know, I know you guys are getting kind of left out in the Northeast, but I think November is going to be a, see a rapid turnaround. I'll show you at the end. But here's coming up on... Uh, Thursday for Halloween and these these are these are low temperatures for Halloween uh, we're talking 37 that Alice were with the area but much of the country and the 20s in Montana and the Dakotas parts of uh, Wyoming getting into the teens and you getting into the parts of Colorado again below zero there's parts in the mountains gonna hit 20 below zero guys for October that's incredible cold air 19 in northern uh, you know Arizona area, Nevada, even Oregon getting in the mix. California, you're not getting left out of this. You're going to see some freezing temperatures for uh, for October to end October. So I think after it's all said and done, believe it or not, there's going to be a lot of places that's going to be actually below normal once you add up all the highs and lows after all this shakes out. But here it is. Um, you know, Halloween night coming up in the first day of November, and it, we kind of bottom out for say where i do think we're going to hit freezing for the first time in the dallas fort worth area 
that will be actually three weeks ahead of schedule. So that's some, some pretty chilly air. Last year, we actually hit it November 10th. So we're, we're 10 days ahead of that. And that was, you know, the coldest, earliest first freeze in 22 years. But that's going to head all the way down to the coast. Even in Houston, it's going to get to about 40 degrees, 36, San Antonio, Austin. You could see possibly a freeze. A lot of this depends if we clear out. But even Amarillo, so much, you know, even down to the Rio Grande Valley, down to the 50s. So Louisiana in the 30s, Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, but much of the country, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Chicago, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, you know, West Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, all you guys are going to be seeing below freezing temperatures and well into the Rockies, Nebraska, all the Dakota states, Colorado, Indiana, probably 60%, 60 to 65% of the country is going to see below freezing temperatures for Halloween night coming up on that Friday, November 1st. So there's some really cold air uh, heading your way. But here's the snowpack. So everybody wants to know, when's it going to snow? When's it going to snow? Well, it's October. <laughs> so you guys in Colorado has been taking all the snow and, and uh, I, Indiana, I mean, um, I, Idaho and Wyoming and, and parts of all of Colorado and Utah, where it's going to pack on that more you know, heavy snowpack. It's snowing in Colorado today. It's snowing Monday. It's snowing Tuesday. It's snowing Wednesday. It's snowing Thursday. So five days straight, they're going to get below freezing temperatures as well as snow around in the air. More snow for the panhandle. And the European model actually brings another heavier swath of snow uh, up into northern Missouri and all of Des Moines, Iowa area and parts of Chicago and, and Michigan. And this will extend out, I think, possibly into Indiana. I mean, maybe extreme Ohio, but I wouldn't get your hopes up on that as this this uh, this kind of just swings out. And I thought earlier last week, you guys were going to probably see your first snowfall in the Northeast, but I just don't think that's going to happen. You might see some extreme snowflakes in the far, far, far north, north sections of, of Maine, but I just think it's just too soon and November will be a, a turnaround for you guys, which I'm going to touch on the long range uh, coming up. So here is the first week of November still shows that well below normal temperatures filtering in, but you see the shift, right? It's actually kind of shifting. It's heading your way. You guys in the, in the, in the, in the Northeast, I know you guys have been feeling left out. But uh, like I said, I think eventually it's gonna it's gonna head your way. So we're still below normal temperature for much of Texas, parts of uh, Oklahoma and Arkansas and Missouri and uh, and the Chicago, Illinois, Illinois area, and that's gonna be the first week in, in November. And I was, I was gonna touch on the uh, the precipitation outlook for the next 16 days, and this you know really applies for the north and northeast where they're showing above average precipitation where you did have some above average precipitation in october so it continues in november and it's it's a pretty known fact if you have a wet fall in the northeast you're pretty much going to have a, a pretty cold winter and that's what i'm expecting i've been you know i have not changed my anomalies of 2013 2014 and it's actually november is actually setting the stage to kind of mimic a lot like the 2013 2014 analog and the, and the latest uh, CVS CFS V2 model is implying that and the, the no outlook com looks completely different, but they actually go off uh, probabilities. And this is actually, you know, more like pattern recognition forecast. This shows the extreme, you know, cold filtering in into the central part of the United States. But as you saw with the probabilities in the first week of November shifting to the east, Eventually, like I said, I think you guys get into the action in the southeast where you're going to be possibly below normal of all of Alabama, Georgia, uh, all, all of the, you know, Tennessee, Virginia, North Virginia, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, and all the northeast states of New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Maine. All of them, I think, are going to be below normal for November. So I know you've been patient <laughs> But I do think it's going to come in strong in November. It's possibly going to back off in December and then come in with a vengeance January, February, and well into March. So I'm predicting, you know, a late winter this year. 
that last well into March. So I think that's just kind of how it's going to set up for uh, much of the United States and how this is going to how this is going to play out. Uh, and one last thing, I'm going to touch on the solar minimum a little bit. And we made headlines this week because the solar minimum is now on target to surpass 2009. And in 2009, we had uh, 268 days. We only have 65 days left, but we only need 45 more days of a spotless sun to go past the 2009 analog. And that was the 25th coldest the, the, the coldest winter in 25 years when that happened. So the solar minimum has got a lot to play with. And, and as the winter months play out, and this is kind of shows you some of the, how the other solar minimums played out since 1849. And I think we're well on our way and target and being the third highest, lowest sunspot since 1849. So that's just another element that I'm looking at that's going to be playing a huge part and our winter that's going to be you know taking a huge part in our cold winter so hey uh, i appreciate you guys uh tuning in if you did find value in this video video please consider subscribing to my channel and november's coming up so any content that you would like me to release and, and play out then i would you know greatly appreciate it leave leave those comments down below and i'll do my best to make the video for you so uh, definitely catch me in the next video where I protect you before and after the storm.